We're dying to know, Siri, who is the voice of Siri? I am the voice of Siri. <laughs> there she is. I kind of got chills. Her name, her real name is Susan Bennett. She's here with us this morning. Let's ask her questions. Siri, why is one foot longer than the other? <laughs> Siri, what is the driving time from New York to L.A.? Nice to meet you. Siri, are you happy to be here this morning? I'm sorry, Michaela. I cannot answer those questions. <laughs> really Susan cool. Susan Bennett, what a delight to meet Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. How long ago did you get the, the voiceover gig for the Apple iPhone? This happened in 2005 before anyone ever thought of an iPhone. No, I, I take that back. Steve Jobs, I'm sure, had <laughs> right. thought of it. <laughs> um, yes, the re original recordings were done as uh, text-to-speech voices, and it was done in 2005, the whole month of July 2005, four hours a day. Wow. I was speaking all kinds of yeah, what did, what, um, crazy sentences. Yeah, what did you record? How many words or lines oh. do you record? Because I've asked Siri almost everything and gotten a lot of different answers. <laughs> I know people think that they, you know, they they came up with the with uh, the phrases that mm -hmm. she speaks originally. But originally, it was just a bunch of sentences and phrases that were that were created so that every single combination of vowels and consonants and syllables. To be pieced could together. be spoken. And this is sort of a typical way of voiceover. You're a working voiceover artist, right. and this is the kind of uh, recordings that you do. Did this one seem different? Did you have a sense that it would become the cultural no, phenomenon or crutch that it's this become? This was not typical because I, uh, you know, I've mostly done a lot of uh, radio and television commercials okay. and narrations and all that kind of thing. No, this was something very different. But what actually happened before the uh, text to speech. Um, I did something for Lucent Technologies, and they had me wearing this thing called a laryngograph that went around my neck. Sounds terrifying. Like a collar? And, yeah, it was. It, I just found it so fascinating. I said, "I'm in." <laughs> and then I don't know, something Lucent went away or something, yeah. and, and that never happened. But Very eventually, cool. they did the text to speech, and of course, back in that day, we didn't have any clue. Back then, concatenation sounded like this. You right. know, it was very, very robotic, and it was very hard to imagine that in just six years it would have smoothed out to yeah, the point absolutely. that... How often do you reveal to people that, oh, yeah, that's actually me? Never. Is this, this the first time? This is it. Well,